the diagonals of parallelogram bisect each other. So this theorem I will explain now. So how to prove diagonals of parallelogram bisect each other. So let's see here. So first of all if you write the given data. So given information. Here is a parallelogram ABCD. So I am taking parallelogram ABCD. So take the line. Opposite sides are a parallel. And opposite sides are equally. Equal. So when you take this and A, B, C, D, A is one vertex and B and C and D. So it gives two diagonals. So your first given data is uh, according to this uh, theorem, diagonals are parallelogram bisect each other. So A, B is parallel to C, D and A, D is uh, parallel to B, C. We have to prove diagonals are parallelogram bisect each other. So your ABC is a parallelogram. Is ABC is a parallelogram, and diagonals AC and BD intersect at O because AC is one diagonal and BD is other diagonal. So AC and BD intersect at O. Okay, that is a uh, we can draw here so that is a c is a one diagonal and a b d is another diagonal now according to the given data they intersect at o right now what we need to prove so to prove so diagonals of parallelogram bisect each other and that means a c and b d so we need to prove O to A because O is the intersecting point. O A is equals to O C and O B is equals to O D. This is the D. O A B is equals to O D. I need to prove same. So when you see the proof, proof you observe. So we need to prove uh, O A is equals to O B and O C is equals to OB is equals to OD. Two triangles. If you observe this AOB, okay, this uh, AOB triangle, and one more is uh, DOC. These two triangles, if I prove congruent, then according to CPCT, I can confirm that uh, OA is equals to OC and OB is equals to OD. That's it. So it's very simple. So in it, triangles OAB. So from the triangle O A B O A B to one triangle and triangle O C D. So from these two triangles, you know that angle O A B. So if you observe, yeah, here this one angle O A B and angle OCD is equal because AB is parallel to CD and AC is a transversal. So these two are equal. Then OAB angle is equals to OCD. So these two are alternate angles. Alternate angles and similarly angle B that is OBA. So we can observe that also. Yeah, take this O B. So this angle and O D C. These two angles also are equal. So when you take these two, same A B is a parallel to C D and B D is a transversal. Okay, this B D is transversal. Then that we can write O B A. O B A is equals to O. D C angle O D C. This also same alternate angles. So when you try the condition, what purpose they are equal? And A B equal to C D. There is a parallelogram. A B is equal to C D because opposite sides are equal in a parallelogram. Opposite sides are equal. 
parallel graph right so here two angles and one side then according to angle side angle axiom then we can say that triangle OAB is congruent to triangle OCD yes so angle side and angle that is a s a axiom so in, according to this axiom these two are congruent hence by cpct we can say that oa is equals to oc and ob is equals to od this is a cpct corresponding parts of uh, congruent triangle yes so therefore we can conclude this oa is equal to oc and ob is equals to od simple so that therefore diagonals of parallelogram bisect each other so you can prove in this and uh, if a pair of opposite sides of quadrilateral are equal or parallel in a parallelogram so that theorem also i'll explain now